In this video, we will look at how to configure the player properties. So what are player properties? Well, if we go and preview this course just for a second here, So the player properties have to do with what encloses the online course. So it's the menu here, the top toolbar, the navigation buttons, this bottom toolbar. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's go to the player properties where we can configure these. So it's always under the home tab here on the right side here, player. So click on player, then it's going to open up this dialog box here. And you can see there's some tabs along the top here. We're going to start under features and look at the player tabs. So we're going to configure what's going to show up here on all the sides. So the left sidebar, the top and the bottom. So we'd like to see resources on the top right for the top bar. But we also want to add something to that. So we can go here to add and let's type navigation for the top bar right. And the action will be to light box the slides. So this is where we're going to add in that new slide, the navigation one that we created. No nav controls. So the slide will be our navigation slide, this one, when the user clicks. And now you can see that it appeared right here under top bar right. So it's going to be over here and they already show you a preview and you can see it right here. Now for the sidebar, this is the sidebar, scroll down. We want the menu. Yep. And I think that's all we're going to do for this. We're not going to have a glossary. You can add that in if you want, but we're not going to do it for this course. And then go down to features, the title. So we could call it juggling course example, which is our file name, or we could actually put in the name of the course, learn how to juggle the easy way. Like that. And then it's going to update and see how it added the title right there. So you can see it, learn how to juggle the easy way. And the sidebar will be on the left, right here where the menu will be. And for controls, the defaults are volume and captions. I think we'll pretty much leave just that. We could add a search bar. If you do that, it'll appear down here and they could search for certain things or a seek bar, but I don't think we really need it for this. We don't have like videos playing and things like that. And then you can add a logo if you'd like. So I'm going to show you how to add a logo. So I'll add our eCourse Alley logo. Here it is here. And I'll just open there and then you can see where it puts it right there. So that's all for this tab here under features. Now let's go to the menu tab and we're going to configure what will show up in the menu because right now everything is showing up, but we don't want to have them be able to click on some of these things from the menu because they're already included as clickable buttons or tabs on the actual slides. So untitled scene. So first we need to give this a name here. So if you click on this and then double click here, you can edit it. We can just call it juggling course example. And then the title screen, we could actually just call it the actual title, learn how to juggle the easy way. Okay. And then learning objectives will leave there, what you will need, and then the juggling process. Now from here, you see these little arrows down here, we can move things so that we can demote them or promote them so that they're like underneath this. So there'd be like tabs underneath so we can collapse it. 
So that's what I'm going to do for these steps. So I'm going to demote that and this one and this one and this one. And then I'm just going to go down here to this one. And these two, the let's break it down slides, we're going to just delete from here because we don't want them to show up in the menu. And I'm just going to move this one up so that it doesn't get confused there. And now we'll delete this. And let's just demote that one again. There we go. Okay, so now under the juggling process, we have step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. And then you can see you can go like this and that. And then we have knowledge check one. Now knowledge check remediation. We don't want it to show up here, so I'm just going to delete that. Knowledge check two, simulation summary, and we don't want the navigation slide to show up, so let's delete that. So there, that's all we really need for the menu. And you can see it shows you a preview here and it doesn't show these little numbers so it looks a lot better. Juggling course example, learn how to juggle the easy way, learning objectives, juggling process, all the steps. There we go. And then you can collapse the whole thing if you want to. So let's go look at the resources tab now. Now this is where you can add in useful links or documents. So I'll show you how to add one. I have a link just from a wiki how, how to juggle that we can add as a resource. So we'll go here to add and then I'll put how to juggle. And I have the URL just in notepad here. We'll just copy it in. And I'll just paste it here. And you can test it here if you'd like as well. And then save. And then you can see it just pops it in right there. And that's how it will look over here. And then for the glossary, this is where you could add a glossary. Now to do that, it would be similar. You just go over here to add. We're not going to do it for this course. And then you put in the term and the definition. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm just going to click OK here and then we'll preview the whole thing and see how it works. Okay, so you can see the title up here and over here the resources and navigation button and when we click here you can see it light boxes to our instructions screen to show them how to navigate with the course and you can close that and here's the menu and we can jump around to the different slides and we have this one where we can collapse that if we want There we go. So I think it looks pretty good. And we have our navigation buttons down here as well. And the volume button here. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it for configuring the player properties. So in the next video, we will preview the whole course and do some editing where necessary. Mm -hmm.